<laughs> oh, all right. No. Yes. Yeah. Because, you know, we're back on Crash. Like I said I'd be, well, I mean, I never, I never said I'd be back at Crash 2, but now now we're playing Crash 2 again like I'm supposed to be. But can't you? Instead of Melty Blood fighting Aaron and Melty Blood like we did the last time, pointing out how fucking horrible... Uh, Jeepers, well, actually, no, that, that, was, that, was, that, that wasn't the cross attack battle, that was the Sam Hyde episode, our most successful episode so far. Right? I mean, that's the only one well, anyone's we... ever actually watched from what I've seen on, the, on, our, on our stats on YouTube. Hey, wait, what's the channel oh, called fuck. again? I forgot! Yeah. That better be a fucking joke. Uh, so, I I led up to talking about Yandere Dev in the last episode, if I remember correctly. And I'm gonna try to be inconsistent, though. Um, no, nobody likes quality content. If you if you like quality content, you wouldn't watch half of the shit that you watch on YouTube anyway. So, I can be as inconsistent as I want, and you wouldn't fucking care anyway, right? Right? Maybe, uh, maybe insulting the fans isn't how you, how you start off the podcast. Let's 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 that back, right? Yonder a dev, his entire world is collapsing. There was this video um, a couple of weeks or so back. I don't fucking remember the, the rise and fall of Yonder a dev that just went over pretty much everything we already knew for ages now because Yana Ray Dev has just become a fucking lol cow. Okay, become is kind of, um, it's kind of pushing. You mean he was born a fucking neat? Well, I mean, there's, there's some, you know, there's, 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 the, there's the sad parts of his story that you can relate to and feel bad about it. No, I can't. No. He's, he's working so hard! He's not relatable at all. He doesn't work hard at all. He's a lazy fuck. Just making money off children. Just like every other YouTuber. It's like a nightmare. Poor, poor bastard children. And what, what kills me about the Yandere um, the fan base or whatever is I'm not gonna. Ah, uh, fuck. Yeah, nice. that is. That stuff like that's gonna happen. Just, just roll with it. But um, the thing that gets me about it, because um, if, like, if you watch the rise and, and fall of Yandere Dev, I heard that by the way. If you, if you, I don't give a fuck. Oh, trying to run a professional <laughs> show. You're ruining your career. <laughs> but um, yeah. Try to be professional. Uh, See, that was your mistake. Oh, you saying I should make mediocre trash like Yandere Dev and have millions of subscribers, most of which are children, and suck my dick off about how I'm so great, even though I don't do anything? Is that uh, what you're saying? Uh, alright, I see you breaking those boxes, but how the fuck are you supposed to make it all the way to that other box? Four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, okay, I, I counted wrong, but I was gonna just jump all the way over there. But like I was trying to say, if you just watch that video before he gets taken down again, we're gonna cover that in a, in a second. But um, if you watch that video, it's pretty much down. if it gets taken down, I, I already downloaded it, so. Oh yeah, see, when, when it's on the internet, the internet never forgets. We here at the Cassie Cows never forgive, never fucking forget. You know, like <laughs> like that ones. Uh huh. But I'm pretty much everything you need to know about like why Yandere Dev is a piece of shit is in that video. But um, the thing I was gonna talk about just now was how um, with his fan base, right? The thing that gets me about the Yandere Dev fan base is that most of the, of the people who are into you know Yandere Simulator are children, and it's a game about you know children killing each other or alleged children. You know, because well everyone in this game is a over 18 and they're 18 and older when it's convenient but you know it takes place in a school setting and um you know you, you can't really get around the whole sexualization of the character especially if you you, you watch that video by um who was it Ramel? that was the original uploader of the video the original creator yeah Ramel, the man the myth the legend and then uh, mysteriously a couple of days after he uploaded that the channel got terminated now you can say well maybe he just 
backed up like a bitch, but something tells me, um, some somebody might have got to him. I it feels a little weird that you would upload like a two-hour-long video and then decide, you know what? Yeet, I'm out. Peace. And then just call it a day. Sounds like uh, somebody uh, maybe took it down. So other people have been re-uploading the video um, for like just since that happened, I guess. Like, cause it's like how many how many re-uploads? At least three, if not like five or so, at this point. All talking about you know the quote me all like, you're posting the same fucking video and um, you know. Um, Aaron and them, Turo, they have Humphrey, and I have my cat, who decided it was a good idea to just jump in my face and kill me. Can nice. you, can you not? No. Oh, this is like the worst episode yet. I, re I really have to, um, pull a lot of strings here to make this one work are you gonna fucking go he likes to go outside wow amazing we're truly pumping out that quality content six minutes and 30 seconds in wow we <sighs> six minutes well hey I've that means I've got a good 23 minutes to turn it back around so yeah, so the, the fan base is cancer, the fan base are children, so he's kind of like peddling, like, oh. hey, I, you, you, it's like, if you call it just straight up child pornography, right, you can argue that, uh... Yandere, Yandere simulator isn't even a Yandere, no, she's a, she's mm -hmm. one of those dairies that don't show any emotion, Kundere, yeah. a what? A Kundere. Oh yeah. Sorry, I'm not. I don't. I don't understand your weeb speak. You don't, you don't understand my my crazy taco language. No. Uh, uh, revolution. Don't you don't speak. <laughs> you don't speak weeb. Sounds like someone's a racist. You just hate Japanese culture. You're a hater and a racist. Anime isn't Japanese culture. You fucking cucks. Sure, they. Oh, wow, you got fucked. Get fucking wrecked. Um. Well, just just get, just dust yourself off, pick yourself right back up, and just do it again. Dust yourself off, kneel, loser. Does it count when the the boulder breaks it? I don't want to risk that. But um. And you know, here's the thing, right? Because I've been subscribed to Yandere Dev for the longest time, as, as no! weird as that may sound. Following him, and you know, it's like, well, he's an indie dev, and it's an inspiration, he's working so hard and stuff. And even when like this stuff started to come out about his past, I, I was still kind of one of those people who was like, well, he, he did that in the past, and maybe it's different now, and blah, 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 blah. It's not different. At all? Yeah, because he can't handle any criticism. That's what I know is a lot of these people, um, I don't want to say indie devs per se, but you know, like fucking Phil Fish, and that's that's a whole other can of worms. I don't want to open again. Let's just let Phil die in peace. Just, they never exist. Who's just, Phil? I don't want to talk about Phil Fish. Okay, fuck Fez. But um, the fuck is Fez? You'll hey. Don't ask. You'll never fucking know. That's the point. But they all have these these insecure attitudes about Is themselves. Like you try to criticize their work in any type of constructive way, and they're like, "You're you're just a hater." Blah, blah, blah. Well, you hate, you're you hating on my work. Blah, blah. What work? I know, right? Because all he does is use like um, stolen Unity assets. The main character, uh, Yandere Chan, is just an asset bought off the unity store edited and shit that's 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 all she is and um can't code for shit um as someone who's done some programming you know not enough to be a professional but enough to tell you that a whole bunch of if else statements wrapped into each other in a tangled web of just disgusting 
disgusting trailing if else code insanity that that ain't how you code a game okay you don't code a game like that but that's how he does it and it's shit you know it's it's bad it's not supposed to look like that and of course he gets issues where like the characters hairs glitch out and, and shit because of that it's, it's like like, what the fuck were you expecting? Like, you're, you're, like, he's trying to take the easy way out in the worst possible way. I can understand working within your means and trying to do what works. Because that's what I do, right? I try to... No, oh, that's what I do it right now on the channel. That's what I do whenever I try to work on any coding stuff is... You try to take advantage of what you have and don't try to go beyond your means. But, uh, he's taking it to a whole new level of just, just incompetency, like, this is, some of those things, you're, th that's not what you're supposed to be doing. Oh, uh, I, this is the only way I know how to code. You're not supposed to code it like that, though. Because it causes problems later down the development pipeline, but he does it anyway. Like, this, this game is never gonna be finished. Um, he never, um, he never stops adding features to the fucking game. He keeps trying to take inspiration from games like Hitman and shit. That means that the game just keeps just going and going and going. I don't know what term there is for games that do that kind of shit. Where they just... Or what? No, and now I remember, now I remember. Because Rommel used it in the video. He used the term feature creep, right? It, it, the game suffers from feature creep, and it's going to probably turn into vaporware. And, you know, it kind of pays me to say that, because I don't mean to just, like, shit on him, just to shit on him. Like, oh, I'm there, he's a piece of shit, he's a deal, blah, blah, blah. blah. I'm, I'm not trying to be like that about it, but the reality of it is, he set himself up to get fucked in the ass really, really hard, just for the way that he set this whole thing up. He, he, he set it up to just, to just fail. Because he, he he doesn't have a game plan for when the game is finished, and, um, I mean, it, you, you remember why I told you about this, you know, not on recording, but I told you about how, you know, he had that, um, deal with Tiny Build, and they had a programmer working with him, and he basically... Oh, yeah, I was playing God of himself. War, and I was, uh, I was suffering. Yeah, I remember this. Yeah. I mean, he, he had a programmer to help him. He's like, well, this code is different from what I'm used to, so get fucked. It's like, well, so, the code was way better, and the game was in a busted mess. Yeah, but that made him look like shit. So you got to get rid of him. <laughs> and he Can has, we talk has, about how big... the Chinese beat him to the point? Yeah, maybe if you had um, finished the game and stopped adding unnecessary features, and maybe finished Osana. Think about that. Though his one goal at this point, his one goal in life, is to finish Osana. He refuses to do it. Like, can because you? he, his fans just, just, like, I don't know, they eat his ass too much. His fans suck dick. Yeah, they suck. They suck the ghost of his dick too much. The ghost, Wait, and they allow. Like he doesn't have one. What do you mean, the ghost of his dick? It's like his dick existed. It was ripped off. You say the feminist got the world. Is that what you're saying? Uh, what I'm saying is that he's a MGTOW neat. Hey, equal rights for women is a serious issue, and I am totally in support of it. No matter what anybody tells you, anybody who might mildly remember my voice will tell you, women's rights is totally a, a thing, and you need to just shut up and cut your balls off and just accept your fate. Don't try to fight back. Just... <laughs> Be a good but, but what about my children? My children, my, my, my spawn. Yeah, what yeah, about you my say that, you spawn? say that, but um, the, the thing is that we're gonna have these, like, these concentration camps, right? Like, these tubes set up. So, like, your balls get chopped off, they get put in the little valve tube, whatever. They get kept alive in that tube, so you don't get any of the testosterone that your balls produce. But they will be harvesting the sperm from your balls, and they'll use that to. Inject oh wait, so I'll still, I'll still have I'll still have children. What, yeah, what, if, ma what if a male is born? For, if, for your for your man if, juice. That's how it if, works. if a male is born, does he get killed? And 
Are they just trying to have a perfect female world? There's only enough males for them to harvest the balls necessary to keep the race going until they figure out how to just clone each other like lizards, and then they won't need us anymore. But I mean, uh. that's how it should be, because men are terrible, and everything that's wrong in the world is men's fault. Men I are canceled. This, I thought this was and about. Men. I thought this was about fucking y'all. Yeah, 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 it is. It is. It is. I'm bringing everything it back. Everything a man does is That's correct. what we're known no for. No man's planning. Be honest. I could hear it in the silence of your voice. You work that Yandere Dev shit wasn't working at the beginning of the show. I'm trying to say Yeah, it. because because you know we've already talked about this shit. It's over. We're I'm done about with this it. This shit not on recording. Yeah, but once I talked about it, I was done. I'm burnt out. It's burnt over. Out. Sorry, oh. man. Wow, so I have to trick you into into recording shit now is what you're saying. I have to get the recording set up and everything while you're rambling on about shit when it's hot off the iron. And then be like, wait, we're recording the whole time? Yeah, because I can't get you to say shit when we're actually recording or something. To be fair, to be fair. Look, you know how I react whenever you start a Carter rant. I just sit down and I just shut up and I accept it. Wow, just, Sorry. just like Yonari Dev's fanbase. See, I brought it back. Because nobody is criticizing what he's doing. Like, here's another thing, right? Let's talk about this. So he talks about how stressed out he is when he works on the game, and you know, I can understand that. Do you know how many emails I get? I know, right? Just don't read the fucking email. Why are you why are you making a big shit out of it? Like why you gotta be Do you think YouTubers read all their emails? Do you think fucking PewDiePie reads all of his fan emails? Do you think PewDiePie ever cares about his fans? Do you think PewDiePie even opens his email? He doesn't care about you. None of them do. Markiplier, all these people, for all ah, you children who shouldn't be watching this shit or shouldn't be listening to this shit because you're too. But I, but I, but I loved watching Markiplier as a poor, naive sap. They don't care about you. You're just money to them, Maximilian, dude. All these people, you're just a paycheck to them. Stop cucking yourself. No, I believe, you're, I believe. You're a, you're a paycheck to them, just like how a fat a sandwich is to a fat girl. Well, I mean, I was gonna bring up pay piggies. That was, that's like a whole sexual fetish thing about guys who like being cucked by girls. Talking about, oh, wow, wow. wow. I mean, he got the buff awesome. and everything, but, um. Damn. About how, it's like, oh, you're gonna be my little pay piggy. You're gonna pay for all my stuff. It's like, oh, yes, sweetie. This, this is so That's hot, he's horrible. talking shit about me, and how I'm, I'm just exist to give her money, this is so hot. And, you know, people are actually into that. That's sad. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's the future you chose. That ain't the future I chose. That's the future you chose right there, though. Hey, I, I didn't choose that. I didn't, I didn't have a say in this. When I was born, the end had already begun. The, the feminists were already rising up. They were already conniving about how am I going to chop this oh, black boy's balls off right without now? being caught. It was like, I, could, I couldn't stop it. It was too young. It was already over. This is the worst episode yet. What am I fighting for? You know, maybe if I had already finished X4 for you guys off stream, I'd actually play that again. But I ain't playing that twice. Maybe, maybe later next month I can go back and do it with X, because I did the first playthrough was with Zero, which I successfully fell asleep on. Yeah, because you let the I'm... fall asleep when I stream games for you guys. <laughs> Well, that's because I get in bed and I'm already so comfortable. Oh, hey, we're talking about finessing people and how Yandere Dev is finessing people, right? Maybe we should just kind of just pat it out with a little more, a little more tangents, right? ASMR. Yes. You are getting finessed by a whole <laughs> bunch of pretty girls who just whisper into the mic. See, this is why I'm not worried about the show being shit for shitty episodes like this. Because we live in a world where, um... If you're cute enough, you can just do whisper porn and 
you know, or you know, put up a microphone to your stomach and have people jerk off to your stomach growling. Don't don't you dare tell me people are falling asleep to ASMR. Don't you dare tell uh, me they're doing uh, that. Well, uh, hold on, hold on. I can say wholeheartedly, without a shadow of a doubt, I have masturbated to ASMR. What the fuck? I mean, come on. What else is it used for? Let's be honest. Let's be fucking honest. I mean, I fell. I mean, I fell asleep after I masturbated. But you know. Yeah, because you're you tired yourself out. All that sweating and shit. I don't know if uh, the the ladies listening in uh, know about this, but uh, it can get pretty hot and heavy when you when you put the the friction and shit on your on your dick. So, uh... Chill out! Chill out. Hey, look. I've watched enough YouTube videos to know that we have yet to do anything truly terrible. We'll be fine. I've, I haven't said anything about any of the master races or... Wow, gotta kill myself. Or, or any of the, the, the oppressed people who should not be named, who are, are superior and better than us. I haven't, I haven't insulted any of our superiors, so I'll be fine. You mean the Jews? Well, thanks for ruining that, but, um... <laughs> hey. hey, that brings hey. us back to Yandere Dev because his nose is fucking massive! Fucking Joe! I mean, come on, he makes, like, how much off Patreon and how much off donate? Well, that's just Patreon alone. Well, I, know, he, I know like, that. Or I he think doesn't I know he make the like five uh, k a month off Patreon? I think the numbers have gone down a bit. Well, yeah, of course. But, uh, that's, the, that's the whole point of the video. That's the point I was trying to make is that that number is going to keep going down because this ship is going to continue to sink. I'm curious to know if he like, or, I mean, he has to know about the video, but I don't know like if he had a reaction to the video or anything. We can get like an actual comment from him about. The rise and fall of Yandere Dev. It's like this is slender. Yandere Dev got fat. Like he got fat. Really? What happened to him? But he used to be a scrawny fuck. Now he's just fat. I thought he was still a scrawny fuck. You, you mean he's gonna compete for my title in the sumo ring? Maybe. Oh no! That's all I have. That and not being complete shit at fighting games. Even though people will dedicate their lives to this shit. Yeah, I knew I missed that fucking stretchy box at the beginning. That balance box, uh, I felt it. It's like, I'm pretty sure I missed baby. that. I felt poor. it, but I trust I trust it. Well, maybe it, maybe it didn't miss. But I did fucking miss it. Now I gotta do it all ogre again. Fucking poor fucking baby. You'll be alright. Yeah. But um, yeah, that num those numbers are just gonna keep going down because yeah. Like, see, look, look, look at those pictures, Carter. He's he's fat and uglier. Jesus. Well, I'm not gonna stop the the uh, recording and streaming to look at those pictures, but I'm gonna take her word for it. I'm gonna look at them after we're done because we only got um about a uh, seven or six rather because I try to make them a little under thirty minutes so it doesn't crash on me. Get it? Because we're in playing Crash Bandicoot. Ah, oh, fuck. Just kill me. Oh, no, I got him just fucking... No. Make it stop. Dang it. Wow, but, um... Yeah, I, I can trust that, but, like... Well, I, I got, what, six more minutes here, so let me, let me try to make my point, because we, we really fucked up the first six minutes. My cat fucked everything up. Look, Turo blanking over here. So look, yeah. Before you get started, look, the railing to be, to be fair, before you, you get know, started, the you, railing to be beam, fair, I'm gonna make my point. To be fair, so, I've been awake since 7 a.m. today. All right, I, I I fell asleep at like what 3 a.m. last night. That, I told you I was gonna make an episode tomorrow. Or, or yeah, but I had to be rather. somewhere today. I had to be somewhere. <laughs> you missed that box, by the way. I know. That's why I committed separate. But the point I was trying to make is this. The point of this episode, because this is the first ever Casting Couch episode with an actual moral behind it. That's the Casting Couch difference. You don't learn morals on Oni Plays. You don't learn morals watching Markiplier and shit, but you will learn morals watching the Casting Couch. That's how you know well, I mean, hey, wait, quality. what you will learn from watching Markiplier, PewDiePie, Jack Septiguy, or whatever, is how to have no sense of humor, and uh, how to cry on command to get those views. Come on now. And this is 
I mean, that's pretty much it. Sorry. I think I got those other boxes. We'll, we'll know if I can manage to beat this um, at the end of this recording. But um, the moral of the story of this, right? The moral of the story of Yonari Dev is a couple of things, right? This is what happens when you take, when you bite off more than you can fucking chew, for starters. Um, second, this is how to not make an indie game. You need to make games within your means. Do not just... Don't fall for feature creep. I know you want your game to be this big, extravagant, beautiful messiah game that you envisioned, but sometimes you just gotta, you know, learn when to, 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 to cut it off and be like, you know, this is all I can fucking do. And this is all, all I can afford to make. Fuck it, that, that's what the game is. This is all I can is. muster, and that's why the Chinese beat them to the punch. Yeah, because they, they knew what they wanted to do. They they took all those stolen assets that he already stole, but he doesn't own the rights to the assets. You can't even say, they stole my character! Because it's it's all Unity assets anyway, so they got the same assets, dolled everything up the same fucking way, got it over with, made it sure it actually fucking ran, and, you know, there you go, the game's out. Now, whether or not it's any yeah, good, I mean, I mean we all know it's trash. You, you know, Yandere Simulator, I, I wasn't really into the idea of Yandere Simulator. I followed him because I was interested in the development of the game. But, um, now that we've Boy, seen where this was is all leading up to... Boy, Yeah. Hey, you, you learn something new every day, I guess. But, um, now that we're seeing the end of it, it's like... Like, this this happened, but this all could have been avoided had he um, not made, made this, so many terrible decisions, and if his ego was better, because um, I guess, well, I'm not going to, I'm not going to talk too much about the Mike Z thing, we can, we just skip over that, because you, you can watch the video about him, it's in there about the whole thing with Mike Z, you know, the creator of Skullgirls, rather the programmer behind Skullgirls, because the characters and shit were not, were not his idea, that was Alex A. Hutt. but um, yeah, so, like, had he just, you know, worked within his means and everything, you know, he, he had, and what's, what's sad about it, the sad part about it is that he had everything. He has a huge following on YouTube, like a million subscribers, and I'm one of those subscribers. Tons of people supporting him. Everybody wants this game to be finished. And he has, like, people like Ass Man and shit, you know, making videos um, of his game, all this advertisement, everything is falling into place, but because he can't fucking finish the fucking game, he's a shit the Chinese programmer. Chinese man outdone him. Yeah, and he let these Chinese knockoffs outdo him. He's fucked. It's over. So he's. it's just going to be a slow burn, a slow death. Until one day, you, you just don't hear from him anymore. It's like, what, what happened to Yandere Simulator? Is it gonna be finished? No. I don't know what the fuck you thought. And apparently the game gives you checkpoints if you die too much. Well, we learned that. This game really is easier than the first game. Vastly easier than the first game. Uh, and before hey, you say, well, look, that's the first game was gay as asking. fuck, alright? First game was gay as fuck, so... You know, take what I can get. Yeah. Um, okay, so we got um, about two minutes left here. I'm not going to do another level. We're going to save that for the next episode. Um, we're going to talk about... Next uh, time on Dragon Ball Z. The boys discuss why, how the soyification of animated Western cartoons is destroying everything. And CalArts is cancer. And it actually makes you worse at art and everything. No! <laughs> okay, garbage. No, I'm done with that. Stop. All right, but I'll be more enthusiastic and lively next episode tomorrow. Not tonight. Tomorrow. I was gonna make it tonight. You good? You can't. You can't do it tonight for me, please. Uh, well, seeing as it's like 12.44, everybody's trying to sleep, I don't want to, like, and, and when I get into my art rants, I, I'm not a happy boy, and I start getting loud. And yeah, that's going to be the Turo episode, this is going to be your episode, your episode is up next, but, um, parting words here is, don't bite off more, more than you can chew, don't be a little bitch when people try to criticize you. Don't have like pedophilic um, fantasies about lollies and shit. Don't write.
horrible rape fa fan fiction on fanfiction.net. Don't be like a fucking neat, and maybe your game will turn out okay. Unfortunately, I don't see Yandere Simulator having a good ending. So, that's it for the casting couch today. I hope, I hope you all learned it's a valuable over. lesson. And, um, send prepare, news. Prepare your. Let's actually prepare ourselves next time because this was fucking terrible.